With everyone focused on Trump's physical, he stops everything to deliver a holy miracle. Everyone seems to be focused on President Donald Trump's annual physical this week, with those on the left hoping that his doctor will find some little thing which will warrant him unfit to serve. In the midst of this obsession over Trump's health, he decided to stop everything and deliver a holy miracle to Americans. This man cannot be stopped. On the campaign trail, President Donald Trump promised voters that he would end the war on Christianity, which was waged against God-fearing Americans throughout the Obama administration. On Tuesday, he took a major step forward in making good on this vow by declaring January 16, 2018, to be Religious Freedom Day. Faith is embedded in the history, spirit, and soul of our nation, Trump wrote in the White House proclamation. On Religious Freedom Day, we celebrate the many faiths that make up our country, and we commemorate the 232nd anniversary of the passing of a state law that has shaped and secured our cherished legacy of religious liberty, he added. Our forefathers, seeking refuge from religious persecution, believed in the eternal truth that freedom is not a gift from the government but a sacred right from Almighty God, his proclamation continues. On the coattails of the American Revolution, on January 16, 1786, the Virginia General Assembly passed the Virginia Statute of Religious Freedom, Trump recalled. This seminal bill, penned by Thomas Jefferson, states that, all men shall be free to profess, and by argument to maintain, their opinions in matters of religion, and that the same shall in no wise diminish, enlarge, or affect their civil capacities. Five years later, these principles served as the inspiration for the First Amendment, which affirms our right to choose and exercise faith without government coercion or reprisal, wrote Trump. Today, Americans from diverse ethnic and religious backgrounds remain steadfast in a commitment to the inherent values of faith, honesty, integrity, and patriotism, his proclamation goes on. Our Constitution and laws guarantee Americans the right not just to believe as they see fit, but to freely exercise their religion, he added. Unfortunately, not all have recognized the importance of religious freedom, whether by threatening tax consequences for particular forms of religious speech, or forcing people to comply with laws that violate their core religious beliefs without sufficient justification, wrote President Trump, according to CBN News. These incursions, little by little, can destroy the fundamental freedom underlying our democracy. Therefore, soon after taking office, I addressed these issues in an executive order that helps ensure Americans are able to follow their consciences without undue government interference and the Department of Justice has issued guidance to federal agencies regarding their compliance with laws that protect religious freedom, added the president. No American, whether a nun, nurse, baker, or business owner, should be forced to choose between the tenets of faith or adherence to the law, states the proclamation. This could not have been better timed, as the Supreme Court is currently hearing the case of Jack Phillips, the Colorado baker who refused to endorse gay marriage by making the cake for a same-sex wedding, as it violates the tenets of his Christian faith. The free exercise of religion is a source of personal and national stability, and its preservation is essential to protecting human dignity, says Trump's proclamation. Religious diversity strengthens our communities and promotes tolerance, respect, understanding, and equality. Faith breathes life and hope into our world. We must diligently guard, preserve, and cherish this unalienable right. Sadly, in this day and age, Trump's Tuesday proclamation was sorely needed to remind those on the left that they have no more of a right to liberty than those of us who recognize Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Indeed, we now live in a country where Christians are persecuted for declining to bake gay wedding cakes, all while Muslims are seemingly given a free pass to do whatever they want, even at the expense of the rest of us. A perfect example of this sad fact unfolded just last weekend when serious charges were dropped against two Michigan doctors who are suspected of performing female genitalia mutilation FGM, on 100 American girls. Thankfully, we now have a commander-in-chief who will go to battle for the Christian values our great nation was founded upon, lest they get lost to secular influences brought on by the left. Please share the good news of President Donald Trump's proclamation if you are grateful that he is fighting for our religious freedoms.
Jams.